Considering how often I do that, I'm no frigging good at it. What's the point of this doing today? Um, just seeing whether it's pretending to help me, you know, pretending. So we, he's going in the gym, shall he show you around the gym? Yeah. Oh, pleasure. She's hung up by mistake. <laughs> Come in, Ack. Come on, you dog. In for legs. Can you whack it? Can you whack a leg there? I'm not sure I can. <laughs> Actually, absolutely fact. That was a great session though. Friday night leg session with the old man and pizza to follow. Mum and dad are having this freaking amazing looking pizza. Um, hand, hand, oh, where is it? Spicy chicken arabata with unduja. Unduja, unduja. I don't, I'm gonna sound like an idiot. And people are gonna be laughing at the screen there, but anyway. Uh, I am sticking with the Lodo tonight with some passata, some chicken and a bit of ham on there. Reduced fat cheese. And what else? That's probably it. I'm very excited for it. Still got a massive box full of Lodo. I'm gonna grab two out there like so. As you can see, in one wrap, or Lodo kind of tortilla thing, one piece of Lodo is 39 freaking calories. 39 calories is absolute witchcraft. I genuinely have no idea. Oh, my passata. I have no idea how they do it. A couple of spoonfuls of this on top. Bit of chicken. Bit of chicken on the side as well for, you know, for the protein, because gains. And what else? Ham, I said I was gonna put ham on. I have lost my head after that session. Boom. One big thing that, um, well not a big thing. One thing I always get asked with the um, Lodos is you get two in a pack, but I only ever use one at a time. What do I do with the other one? You quite simply, hang on, let me stick that in there first. What I tend to do anyway, is you get these like little film kind of things in it, right? Fold that over, put it in, face, like fold down into there, and that gives you a nice flat edge to then fold that and stick it in the fridge. You can also stick it in the freezer, but entirely up to you. I personally stick this on a high heat. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend that, to be fair, but it's just what I do, and I've never really gotten wrong with it. I give it sort of 10, 15 seconds on each side. Once I'm done with that, flip it over. You'll get a slight crisp, because you're gonna stick it in the oven for like 10 minutes. You don't wanna overcook it, you just want a slight crisp on it, so that it firms up ever so slightly, a bit more pizza basey kind of, you know? Stick that straight on there like so. Boom, spread that around. 
Boom, spread that around. Okay, so we have some reduced fat cheese to go on top. So what I'm gonna do is weigh the bag, set it to zero, and take off around about 20 grams to start off with. That's 25. One serving is actually 30, so we'll just round it up. Perfect. Same with the chicken, we'll cut that up like so. I don't like to have too much chicken on the actual pizza itself, just a nice light little taste. Um, and then I can have some on the side just because it's chicken and it tastes nice. Um, but yeah, not too much, but enough for a, a covering, you know. Same with the ham. Nice small bits and it should crisp up real nice. I'm actually gonna top this with a, a teeny bit more um, cheese, just so it looks nice, to be completely honest, because that's what you have to do when you do this social media thing. You have to make sure it looks nice, as well as it actually tastes nice, and be low calorie. In fact, it's really difficult. Whoa, that's hot. Jeez. <laughs> Back in our day, there was coronavirus. <laughs> and we had to have dinner over FaceTime. Hi, everyone. Hi. I told everybody to download the house party app that we're going to use in a minute. Have you told them we're on a date? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to have a drink, one sec. Okay. <laughs> Um, you got any, uh, uh, you got any ketchup, mate? Ketchup? <laughs> Just ketchup. Yeah, hey, yeah, I've yeah. Got some. Oh, well, that was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, delicious. Yeah, yeah. Really enjoyed my cook. Can I get the bill, please, mate? The bill? <laughs> bill? I, I, I got this one, yeah. I, I get yeah, this one. Thanks. Don't worry. So kind. Hi, right, guys, so the starting weight is. Exactly which is How's this going? Okay. Looks cool. Day one of no work and decking is being built in the garden. This is going to bring it in now, watch. It's like, yes, my ball over here. Yes, this ball right here, I bring to you. And you throw. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and there's a bit of glass there, Pup. Soz. It's happening guys, it is officially happening. April 1st, um, at some stage in the evening, I'll release a video uh, and it will kind of tie in. With the release of that video, these t-shirts will be coming out and I'm very, 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 very excited to bring them to you. It's been about three years since I've done something like this. Uh, I've released t-shirts before, uh, but it was kind of on like a, a pre-payment, I'll get them made sort of, and then I'll make a few extra sort of basis, whereas this, is I have my t-shirts in my select sizes and that's it. Quantities are limited people and I mean it when I say that quantities are limited. If everybody that votes in the polls cops a t-shirt they will 100% go. 
So grab what you can while you can on Wednesday the 1st of April. No, it's not an April Fool's joke. I will release more information around it over the next couple of days. I will upload daily until that point just to keep you guys updated, you know, because I'm going to be, where are they? I'm going to be packaging them and all this kind of stuff to kind of speed the process along. Um, and so, yeah, I just think it's going to be cool to show you. Um, and I'm excited to, to bring it to you. I'm excited to bring it. I'm excited to bring the grind. But you see the title of today's video and it's something along the lines of a FaceTime date or a date with a pizza date with my girlfriend or, or I, I don't know, I can't remember what I've decided to call it. I'll decide later tonight when I actually publish it. But I wanted to emphasize the importance of um, staying connected in this time. Myself and Charlotte, stuck. we met at uni for starters. Not a lot of people know this. We met at uni, we lived together at uni in the same flat by mistake we happen, just happened to choose the same flat um, and then a few months down the line we wound up getting together lived together in second year and third year now obviously university is finished we don't live together for money and for work and all that kind of stuff she's got a really good job in Birmingham basically our situation right now is we see each other as often as we can and we plan on moving in together as soon as we can that's pretty much our thing right now however this will be the longest time that we have ever spent apart since we have met on September 25th, 2015. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, that was obviously the first day of uni when we moved in and everything was just... So it's going to be a minimum of three weeks, um, which will be the longest time. I think the longest time we've had is like eight days apart and that was shit. And it's been that now. Um, so, you know. That's that's not ideal, but there are people plenty worse off. We will get through this, and what you have to do in this time is just stay positive. Know that it is a phase. It's not forever. It's going to be a crap phase, but it's not going to be forever. It's not. The sooner you stay in, the sooner you can go out again. That's our kind of logic behind it. But one thing, if you are away from family members, if you're away from uh, loved ones, you know, your, your partners or whatever, um, stay connected on FaceTime. We live in a world where, like I said in the last video, I think, you are probably watching this on a smartphone. Whip out that smartphone and go on Facebook Messenger. Whip up that smartphone and go on FaceTime. You could use Skype, you could use WhatsApp. There's so many things that you can and should be using in this time to stay connected to everyone important in your life. If you are able to, do it because it will help you, it will help them, and it will just keep you amused. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a bit boring. Like, staying at home if you're not working and stuff, it w you will get bored. And so try and occupy yourself, maybe spin a ball on your finger, learn to do the Rubik's Cube, like what I did when I was injured, I told you about that a while back. Find little things like that and connect with your family, connect with your friends, connect with your loved ones over social media because we live in a time where we can, and so you should. Also, this new house party app, let me bring it up. Uh, house party, like so. I tell you what, I'll just ring Charlotte. Why the hell not? Oh, she's working, that's why the hell not. Let's see if she answers. Oh, okay. She's not answering because Charlotte's actually working from home right now, so she can still kind of, she can do her job from home, and so she is, if that makes any sense. But I can still show you how this app works. You pretty much come onto it, and, you, and the other person comes on at the top. You come on at the bottom, and if you press on this little dice, you can play, like, you, just, you can just play games. It's fun. It's a fun thing. It's a bit of a gimmick, to be honest, and I don't think the, the trend will last. However, it is fun. Um, you can play games as you as you go along and just have a chat and, and a catch-up, you know? So use things like that. Use things like FaceTime and use things like virtual dates, literally like what we pretended we were at a restaurant. I was sat in that friggin' desk facing a wall, but at the end of the day, I just put my phone there because I could. And it was as good as it was going to get in this current situation. You can only play the cards that you are dealt in this life. That's what I always say. Um, and plenty of us have been dealt a, a hand that we did not like. A hand that we do not class as a winning hand. However, you can kind of bluff your way through it. You know? And, uh, and perhaps come out a winner still. A little good metaphor every now and then. Drop a like for the metaphors. So just whip this out and give someone a call because it can help you and it can help them. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do me a massive favour. Drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you want to. Stay tuned for the daily updates until these come out. Yes. Do you like my quarantine beard as well? I just haven't shaved for like a week. I figured, why do I need to? Probably because I upload YouTube videos like three or four times a week, that's why. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. Stay active, stay positive, stay healthy, and use freaking FaceTime. This is a time where I tell- I, 
say how much I love social media all the freaking time. I love social media because it can connect people from all over the world at the click of a button. Just like this video has and just like FaceTime can. You can FaceTime your cousins in Australia. I have cousins in Australia. You guys get the point. I'm doing my, uh, I'm doing my little rambling bit. But anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.